First thing we're going to do is we're going to take the shaft, and this is the shaft that we use in our mechanical agitation. We cut us off a piece just for this, and we put a little Vaseline on it, and that's solely so your rope will still spin on the shaft. Because the, the concept here is you're going to twist this rope around the shaft, and you're going to use it to actually insert it into your mechanical agitation piece here. And you're gonna twist it, just like this, until you start going down in there. Now what this is gonna do is it's gonna thread it through this piece down to where it's supposed to go and keep it all in line. So you don't have to worry about it falling on you and all that stuff. It takes a little while Basically, as you can see, it's starting to go in there. It's twisting on through. And you're gonna get down so far to where it gets a little trickier. I always use a screwdriver when I run out of room for my fingers. And that'll turn it sometimes. get this in here far enough that you can get your other piece started and it'll finish threading it in for you. Alright, that may be far enough. As you can see, that's what you have. It gets in there so far. Far enough for this piece here. Slides right over your shaft. And all you got to do is catch one, one of the threads. And we did. You start it. Then you take your crescent wrench or whatever if you want to use the right size wrench. I'm not sure what size it is. And you're going to continue to screw that rope packing right on down. And every now and then you want to make sure you can move your bar around. That way, of course, you got to have it out of, back out of there. It's got to come out. That's another reason for the Vaseline to keep it moving. But as this goes down in there, it's going to get tighter. Now at this point, you can feel it start to kind of loosen up. That's where the rope packing is actually broke through the threads and going down into the area where the packing is supposed to be. Want to run it all the way down. You want to make sure your packing is flush and all the way to the bottom. After you're done, that should have your packing all the way down where you want it. The rod should still be able to come out if you want it to. 